Is ice cream our secret weapon for shrugging off years of bad news from the recession and its aftermath to the latest blow by Hurricane Sandy? Not quite. But to see the sheer pleasure of kids' smiles when they enjoy ice cream is to acknowledge this food's emotional benefits. Have to wonder if this accessible, low-cost treat consumed a few times a week could actually help American adults cope with daily stresses that melt the fun from routine activities. Supermarkets that pursue a higher profile ice cream effort, perhaps with a dipping counter, could help make their stores happier places and generate new visits. Remember how our parents used to talk about their joy going to the corner drugstore to meet their friends and get a cone? It's time to borrow a page from retailers, thrifty drugstores, and Walgreens, which have made ice cream their calling card. According to Mintel, the ice cream and frozen novelty market emerged from its deep freeze in 2011 with a 4.1% rise in U.S. retail sales to just under $11 billion and a forecast of yet another 4% gain for this year. The dipping counter could become a destination for families and youth sports teams after games, a more affordable alternative than the high-priced super premium ice cream shops. There's a lot of potential. Americans eat the most ice cream per capita in the world, 17 liters per person. Smile, say cheese, when we return. ConAgra Foods. With brands like these, we can't help but smile. ConAgra Foods. Food you love. The photo printing business is showing fresh signs of life after digital swept much of America onto screen-based viewing. Now, the photo printing initiatives by Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid signify demand does exist for tangible prints that people can hold in their hands, mount on their walls, and frame on their desks. There are also the endless mugs and banners and posters and photo books and other physical forms that make the print business diverse and promising. Screen views don't seem to be enough for everyone. Photos aren't always about posting on Facebook. They're also about memories, milestones, and the money that supermarkets could make if instead of abdicating the business, they find ways to marry up resilient photo print demand with its digital execution and future. It's worth noting that some ways that Walgreen uses apps to wed its photo print business with consumers' digital lifestyles. Print from Facebook. This allows users to choose photos from Facebook albums to print and pick up at a local store within one hour. Printworthy. Users can create and print a printworthy card using a photo from Facebook albums with likes and dislikes. And quick prints. iPad users can print photos directly from that device and pick up at a store within an hour. Perhaps supermarkets can steal back some of the dollars that they've lost to drug chains after all. The Lemper Report uploads right here three times a week with the information you need to stay ahead of the trends. For more, just visit thelemperreport.com.